If you were never taught how to do your makeup, I'm Jacqueline and I teach super simple makeup that literally anybody can do. I personally used to hate doing my makeup because I honestly had no clue what I was doing. I found this one palette makeup system that I use and have been obsessed with for almost five years now. The makeup system looks just like this. It's all in one little palette. And honest to goodness, if I can do this makeup system, I promise you can too. It all goes on your face in one layer, as you can see, and then we'll just blend it all together at lightest to darkest shades. Makeup truly does not have to be hard or complicated or take you forever. Because this palette is 100% customizable, makeup doesn't have to break the bank either. It can be affordable and meet your needs and your budget. And the reason that I call it foolproof is because it's all cream, which essentially just means that there really is no way to mess it up because it's so easy to work with. As you can see, when I placed it on my face, it all goes on in one layer so it's super lightweight but it still gives me the coverage that I want. I have a lot of redness and even with just one layer of product. Multiple colors, yes it's kind of like a paint my number system but still with just one layer it gives me the coverage that I want while still being super lightweight. Technically, you start to get mature skin at age 30. Because this is cream, it's gonna move with your skin and not settle into any fine lines, making it perfect for us mature skin gals. It's also super dual purposed, meaning my blush color is also gonna double as my lip color. And I'm also gonna use my same contour shade to fill in my brows. So if you're anything like me and you're looking for a super simple makeup routine, I only used four colors out of this one little compact. Comment match below and I would love to help you simplify your makeup routine into something that you can actually do in five minutes. Ready me to look older than I am for the club with the strictest security in LA. Starting with brows because I feel like the darker they are, the older I look. I need to get in no matter what, but my older friends told me it's going to be extremely hard and challenging since no one without an ID could get past the security. But they've heard someone succeeded before, but they don't know how and which ways worked. And we're going to have to think really fast on the spot. I'm going to do full coverage foundation. Why I want to get in so much is because that's where I could talk to older people and guys because with most of them my age we just don't have things in common and it's like the coolest place in the whole city now i really need a super snatched jawline so i have really sharp bone structure cheekbones jawline and the nose i did this once for a 21 plus party and it worked but this is so much harder because this place has the most security in the whole city okay the hardest part now are the eyes because i'm gonna do a smoky eye and very dark in the corners i feel like the heavier it is the higher the chance of me going in is. And now I need a really thick eyeliner and I'm gonna wing the corner of my eyelashes cause that's gonna give it the fox eye effect. Do you guys like having friends older than you or your age? Just let me know cause I really wanna see. <coughs> oh no. I'm gonna go to my friend's house first and then we're gonna all go from there. And what's gonna bring this together is the red lip. Wait, no, heavy eyes and lips, that's too much. This is better. I'm gonna go change my outfit and I'll see you guys soon. Love is always the last to know Remember when you'd write that fool Up in the pen And asked me if I cared And I said of course I did But you went and did it again Said he was just a friend But then it was someone you wanted to see While I'm standing underneath the street lamp Wondering who was the girl from me I never knew that when you said I love you Here was Ready with me while I tell you guys things I think people are lying about liking. Also, I got this idea from Lacey, so I'll tag her. The first one is tanning. Like, of course, I like being tan, even though I'm not. I just hate, like, actually, like, tanning. Like, going outside, like, I'm sweating. So annoying. You're all, like, greasy from, like, sunscreen or, like, tanning oils. Your hair is all, like, greasy from, like, the sweat. That's not enjoying at all. Next thing is getting your hair and nails done. So boring, just, like, sitting there, like, especially getting your nails done. Like, I feel like I like getting my hair done more because I feel like it's, like, uh, kind of cool like watching them do it that's like another reason i started doing my own nails it's so annoying and it takes up so much of your time and like when i would get my nails done they would look awful too the next thing is cleaning my friend geo he like loves cleaning and my mom she likes cleaning too but like i hate it and it's just like annoying like I don't know. I would rather just like lay in my bed, watch a show or something than clean. Like I wish like everything could clean itself. The next is like swimming. Yes, people could like it, but like, I don't know. I don't personally find it like that fun. Then you get back from swimming, which like the swimming's not even like the bad part. It's just like afterwards you feel all like gross and like you're all wet, your hair's knotted, like your makeup if you wear it, wore any, like it's off and like disgusting. Okay, the next thing I think people are lying about liking is like road trips. I don't know, like, who wants to sit in the car for, like, five hours or, like, shorter or more just sitting there? Uh, look how good these lashes look. Hey, guys, here's my final makeup look, um, and I hope y'all agree with my opinions. Okay, peace out, guys. 
Yesterday, I tried looking older to sneak into a 21 plus party and I'm not even 20. And this is what happened. So I really needed to get in because all of my friends were going. They're all 21, so I'm the youngest one there. And if I wasn't let in, I would have to be the only one outside. That would have been really sad. So I had to get in at all costs. There were a lot of cool people that I really wanted to meet like so bad. And I don't know when my next chance is gonna be. I heard they're checking IDs at the entrance, but only if they found you suspicious or underage. So I had to look super convincing. You guys told me my makeup looked pretty convincing. Then I just had to change my outfit and meet up ahead of time with all my friends so we would get there at the same time and then go in all together. So my genius strategy was just to blend in with my friends and the crowd and just look their age so they wouldn't stop me and I would just kind of go with the flow. But it was harder than I thought. There was so much security and guess what? They were checking almost everyone's IDs at the entrance. And me and my friends realized that we had to figure out something smart. Well, a little tricky. So when it was my turn and they asked for mine, you know, I just so happened to leave it in my other bag. Things happen. I'm a girl. I just... I switched my bag. It was an accident. Now, my soul almost left my body because my destiny was being decided right then and there. So they put a mark on my hand, meaning I could enter, just not drink, which I wasn't planning on anyway. And I got in, but then something interesting happened. We're in there for some time, and then this guy comes up to me. Actually, like, really nice. Like, he looked good. And he starts talking to me, and we actually had a lot in common. And he was, like, super chill. Then I went back to my friends, but we exchanged phone numbers. So now I'm waiting if he's gonna text me, because I don't want to text first because I'm kind of curious. So I'm waiting. Don't know where this is gonna go, but I'll see you guys. Ready with me saying things that I better and do not want to see next school year. Y'all, it is 2024. We need to get it together. I swear I better not see anybody's pads sitting in the bathroom. Throw the pad away. This used to happen all the time last year and I just had enough. Like, do y'all not realize that we can smell it too? But if this gets on your free page, please comment for you page because I try to follow and notice everybody that does comment free page. Like somebody put a pad on the ceiling. I remember because somebody like posted it on Snapchat and they were like, y'all need to be stopped because y'all do. Please do not take this personal, but I do not want to see anybody wearing lemonade braids. Do I even have to explain why or no? I better not see anybody wearing panda dunks on the first day. Do not come for me. There's nothing wrong with it, but I just feel like they're overhyped and like overused. Because I do not want to encounter any slow walkers. Yo, I'm tired of it and I had enough. I better not see anybody twerking in the halls. And I also better not see homework on the freaking first week of school. But we never get homework, so it doesn't matter anyway. I better not see anybody that did not communicate with me over the summer try to come up to me and act like we're cool. I'm grateful for the real friends. Y'all know who y'all are, but if you didn't, just don't come. The thing is, I don't want to hear people screaming at 7 a.m. in the morning like, I just woke up not too long ago. I also do not want to see anybody wearing Nike blazers. Y'all, also, don't take these to heart. This is my opinion. I don't know why y'all get so offended when I say my opinion. Another thing that I better not see is PDA. Like, can y'all get a room? I better not see anybody in my classes that I do not like or I'm going straight to the counselor because... Uh-uh. Also better not smell no musty people. We are in 10th grade. Like, we need to get it together, like, now. I also should not see anybody in ISS the first week of school. Like, y'all really just doing the most. Even though I can't talk, because I literally always used to be in, in school suspension. Anyways, that is everything. And if you stayed all the way to the end, comment down below a pink heart. But with that being said, have a great day. And remember that God loves you guys. And remember, don't take this video to heart. Be your own self. Bye, guys. Good morning. It's about 8.48 in the morning. Oh, I have to get ready for a photo shoot, so do some skincare with me. This is just an oil cleanser before I wash my face with an actual cleanser. I'm double cleansing because I want my makeup to turn out really nice and smooth, so I really want to make sure my skin is nice and clean for that. I just used this bar soap I got off Amazon. It's a sulfur bar soap. First layer of toner. Second layer of toner with the same toner. Third layer, using a hyaluronic lotion, going in with some snail mucin. I'm going to wait like 5-10 minutes to apply some sunscreen just so that my skincare doesn't peel. And after I put on the sunscreen, I also like to wait 5-10 to 10 minutes just so that my makeup doesn't peel. While I wait for my skincare to do its thing, I'm just going to glue down my brows and maybe even start my eye makeup. I don't know some graphic eyeliner today and I'm not about to do that on camera so I will be right back with the 
It's literally 10 o'clock right now and this is all I was able to get done because my eyeliner decided to not be cool today. So I'm literally going to ignore my eyes right now and go to foundation because I need to leave so soon. I just got this L'Oreal Infallible. I don't know if it's my shade. Okay, whatever. We're working with it. I got this because all my cushions have SPF and I don't want flashback. I haven't done a flashback test yet with any of them, so I don't know. So I bought this. Okay, not a bad match, actually. I'm so annoyed because I gave myself so much time today to get ready knowing like I want it to look good uh, But things are just not working out today. Of course, they're not working out today of all days I'm also gonna be using their concealer I got the lightest shade because yeah Why not? Um, go to part two I think you should break up with your boyfriend if he does any of the things I'm about to say. Break up with him if he refuses to stop talking to a girl that makes you uncomfortable. This includes texting, snapchatting, or like actually hanging out with. Break up with him if he consistently makes you feel dumb for not knowing things. If he continuously yells at you or just speaks to you in a tone that you don't appreciate. Or if family is important to you and he makes absolutely no effort to get to know yours. Or if he doesn't give you any time to spend with family and friends and thinks he's the only person that can matter in your life. Break up with him if he acts like a completely different person around his friends. Break up with him if he constantly compares you to girls on social media or girls in his past. Break up with him if he disrespects your boundaries consistently. Example, if you don't feel comfortable with him going to the bar with all of his single friends to hit on women That's okay. You're not crazy for that going off of that If he calls you crazy for being insecure or overthinking something leave Do you know how many guys would reassure you? I know this is easier said than done But if he puts his hands on you, please leave your boyfriend should be the guy that makes you feel so safe Leave if he constantly threatens to break up with you Leave if he'll like and comment on other girls pictures, but never be in your comment section Honestly, if he's on social media in general and just refuses to be in your comments section or in your likes please leave him or if he'll never post you but he'll post his friends his family his sport please leave if you get in a fight with him about something and he goes my last girlfriend didn't care the relationship with his last girlfriend went so well don't you think they'd still be together please leave if he just downs you for everything that makes you happy example you love doing makeup and he tells you you need to stop wearing it you love cooking he tells you you're horrible at it stuff like that if he shows no emotion when you cry please leave the fact that he even made you cry in the first place is gross he tries to convince you to get artificial work done and it's not something you're interested in please leave him to clarify i'm not against artificial stuff at all i have my lips done but i would never ever want you to be with a guy who makes you feel like you have to get stuff done and lastly please break up with him if he never makes you feel special this has nothing to do with money he can write you a note he can pick you a flower off the side of the street you have one life like the guy that you're with should be making you feel so loved and so cared about before anybody asks, yes this goes both ways boys if your girlfriend's consistently being abusive to you as well please break up with her lastly please note that i said consistently a lot because yes some of these things could be worked out if they happen once or twice but if they're things consistently happening in your relationship you deserve to be with somebody who treats you correctly i love you guys my only intention in making this video is to help anybody out there who might have fallen into a relationship that they don't even understand isn't the way they should be getting treated let's do my makeup makeup tutorial this is one of my favorite looks to do it's sultry perfect for a night out we're gonna start with the charlotte magic cream so we're gonna do a little bit of a smoky eye and a wing I'm going to do my eyes first. What I do to prep my eyes, I just use some concealer and then set with a powder. The palette that I like to use is this Patrick Ta Matte Eye Palette. I'm just going in with that light brown shade and it's going to go all over my lid. Now I'm just taking this darker brown. So it's just going to go right on the outer corner. With the brush, I'm just going to take this Dior Gold Highlight. I'm lightly just going to sweep this across the inner corners. I want an elongated eye. I'm going to do a brown wing. So I'm just going to drag it out, take this section and connect it to the middle. This is the Urban Decay 24-7 inks. I'm not going to add any eyeliner in the middle. I'm just going to take a little bit of this on the inner corners. The reason that I love to do my eyes first when I do winged eyeliner is if you mess up or you need to sharpen that wing, just take a makeup wipe and you can fix it. 
curl the lashes. Mascara today, I'm gonna use Hourglass Ardell 420 Lash. I just use one lash and then I fold it in half, cut it right down the middle, add some glue, and I let it sit for about 30 seconds so that the glue gets tacky and it's not sliding around while you're trying to apply it. And I just put these on the outer corner so that they are half lashes. And I'm going to come back to the eyes as I'm finished with the rest of the face. I'm just going to underpaint now. This is the Nude Sticks Neutral Medium Contour. And I always make sure that I really blend this up and into the hairline. This hourglass brush is the best for blending out any contour and blush. This is a pretty full coverage look. I'm using the Lancome. This is the Taunty dull foundation adding a little bit more bronzer on top of that contour this is the ois bronzer stick filling in my brows with this house labs pencil benefit 24 hour brow gel not too much this is from patrick ta it's such a pretty neutral rosy blush i want a bright airbrushed under eye i'll show you guys literally the best concealer powder combo i start with tarte shape tape and set with a prism leave Givenchy powder this is the pink one so it's really going to brighten and these two together, I'm telling you, is just the perfect combo. And then just setting the rest of the face with this Hourglass Translucent Powder. Going over the top of that blush with Makeup Forever Anywhere Peach. Now I'm just finishing the under eyes. I'm adding this Chestnut Givenchy Eyeliner all the way across into my waterline. Tiniest amount of bottom mascara. Adding some cream highlight, but only to the bridge of the nose. And lip combo starts with Iconic London TTYN. And then Unbutton from Fenty. Just blend this into the lip liner. Okay guys, here's the final look. I love full glam matte looks like this but let me know what you guys think get ready with me while i talk about my rules for my newborn when she's here i might only be 15 but at the same time these are my rules and you have to respect my boundaries you guys don't have to like them and give them to your newborn but these are gonna apply to mine it's all for my baby's best interest starting off with number one no one's gonna be kissing her i mean i guess the very top of the head is fine but like on her actual face no the reason for this is because newborns have a very weak immune system, so you kissing her and giving her your germs, I don't want a sick baby. <laughs> My next rule is you have to wash your hands before you hold her. If you tell me, oh, I just washed them 10 minutes ago, I'm going to go ask you to wash them again. Once again, not in a rude way. It's just to make sure she doesn't get sick. On top of that, if you are sick, do not bother coming and seeing her. Even if it's just a cold, I would rather you let me know and we find a different day for you to come and see her than get her sick. I don't think anyone's gonna overstep this rule, but like, don't post until I do. I mean, I feel like I'm gonna beat everyone to it, but like, just before you post, let me post and announce her birth. Along with that, please, please, please just ask to hold the touch to post her. Holy crap, she's kicking. I don't mean it in the way where I need to like, think about it. Nine times out of 10, I'm gonna let you hold, post, and touch her. But out of respect, I think you should at least ask. Like, don't just expect me to hand her to you and be like, give her, like, ask. Hey, can I hold her? It's not that hard to be nice. For when I do go into labor, don't come to the hospital unannounced. I don't know how she's going to be feeling. I don't know how I'm going to be feeling after I give birth. It's not that I don't want to see you. It's just in that moment, I want a few minutes to myself. I'll be texting the people that I would like at the hospital. If I don't text you, just know. You're probably gonna come to my house after I get home from the hospital in the next few days, so we'll plan out a time for you to come see her then. The next thing I'm gonna ask is that if she's crying, please give her back. Once again, nothing against the person. I just know when I cry, I want my mom, so give her back to her, please. Another rule I have is that I will be breastfeeding, so when she's hungry and needs to feed, if you could just leave the room. Or if you do stay in the room, don't judge. You eat like a normal human being, and so does she. My next rule that I ask for is please do not give any unasked advice. I get it, I'm 15, but if I don't come to you and ask you for advice, just don't give it. Trust me, I have a lot of family and resources that I can go to for advice. Along with that, please do not criticize what I'm already doing. Trust me, I'm 15, I know it's going to be rough, but the things that I'm already doing, if it's not putting her in any harm, don't criticize it. The last rule I have is just be careful. What I mean by that is just when you're holding her, be careful. <laughs> like, make sure her head's supported. I would like it if you sit down and hold her. That makes me more comfortable. But just, like I said, be careful. Once again, these rules aren't to be rude. It's just to make sure that she's safe. Not only that, make sure that she and I are both comfortable too. If you don't like them, that's fine. At least respect them. Pretty much, I'm going to finish getting ready. But those are my rules for my newborn. 500 million views. Literally, if Leah Halton is getting 20 million likes on this makeup look, 
I need to teach you step by step. I watched hours of tutorials on her and I know the products that she's using and I'm gonna show you her technique. I live in Toronto and I actually get no sun. So I'm just taking a two hour express fake tan and I'm just gonna put some on my cheeks and get a sun-kissed look. So when we start the makeup, I even have my base similar to her. Transition incoming. Instantly glowier. Let's start this tutorial. Applying foundation. She uses Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. You could use any liquid highlighter or sunscreen. Now she's very smart about it. She said, make sure you don't have any of those products underneath your eyes. The way that she applies concealer, that she doesn't blend it, like it's all so interesting. She uses Maybelline Age Rewind, I think. I'm gonna still do it with my hourglass one, but I'm gonna do the same placement. So it's over here for brightness. Then she skips her under eye. Then a little triangle over here. This is where it gets really interesting. She takes like a middle size foundation brush and she doesn't fully blend it in. So she puts the placement, but she doesn't want it to be blended, but she wants the product on this brush. I'll come back and I'll show you. Look, it's not fully blended, you see, but I'm gonna take this brush, put it on the side and we'll come back to it later. Truck Talk Cream Blush and she's a doll. She only uses the cream. Funny enough, when I saw like her blush, she's never touched the powder. She takes it on a foundation brush and on this angle she goes up. So here towards up and this blush is made for the underpainting technique. She puts it on the tip of her nose and on her eyelids both like that. So three dots like that. A concealer brush and I said put it aside. She takes it back and then she starts like technically what she's doing is under blushing. I don't know if she knows she's doing that but this is a really cool hack because the concealer that sits on this brush actually gives more coverage and then she goes on top of everything and then she makes sure everything is fully blended now. She bakes her under eyes with Givenchy Prisma. I'm doing it with Huda Beauty and she takes the pink one. Okay, take a coral blush shade. This is called a sunset blush technique that she does. So she does it mostly on the outer corners where the bronzer is and then she puts it on the tip of her nose like that. She takes Winter Kiss by Kylie Cosmetics. This is the first time I've personally hit pan on a blush. And this is the blush that Kylie Jenner uses. This is a cool tone pink. She puts it where above her eyes is because the pink's going to cancel out any darkness. And why do I call it a sunset blush technique? Because it's cool tone pink and then it goes to a coral shade and then to your bronzer. It's ombre. I'm going to put freckles in like the midline because that's where you want it to be highlighted. Okay, let me zoom you in. So she takes an eyeliner brush and a eyeshadow palette with different colors of brown. She a straight line in the middle of her nose. She avoids it and she puts the freckles everywhere but in that straight line. She doesn't do this with Freck OG but I'm pretty sure she just tries to use because I'm going in with like different colors. She says I do this like with closed eyes. I just put them in like that. Okay, so this is what it looks like right now but then remember this. With nothing on it, she goes in again and she starts powdering it because she mutes it in and stamps it in so it doesn't move. You gotta set your face now. We're coming together, you know. She has chapped lips, but I know because she didn't use a lipstick. She uses two lip liners. Just gotta find it for you. Her lip liner, the first one is Kylie Cosmetics in the shade Kylie. Then she takes Pillow Talk by Charlotte Tilbury and she blends it in with the next lip liner and creates another ombre effect. I think that's her theme. She likes ombre effects. I'm gonna go do my eyes and I'm gonna be right back. Leah's makeup. Real time, this is the Leah Halton makeup look me and you did together. Close up, no beauty filter, hold on. This is me in the beginning of the video. Honestly, I look more like her than me. Leave a comment and tell me what you think of this tutorial. If you guys have anyone that you want me to recreate and break down their makeup look in depth for beginners, I will do it for you. I love you and like always, forehead kiss, bye. Hi guys, get ready with me while I talk about my favorite products through each step of my makeup. I don't know if that makes sense, but like with every single step, like for primer, I'm gonna give you guys my favorite primer. For foundation, I'm gonna give you guys my favorite foundation, okay? We're gonna move through every single step and I'm gonna use my faves. Plus I just wanna yap, cause I'm in a yap mood. I also just got this new bodysuit from Skims. This is like my favorite color. So when I found this and it was on sale, I about died.
I've already done a whole video on my skincare, but tried and true, my favorite moisturizer forever, literally since I was 16, is the Dermalogica Skin Smoothing Cream. Next for primer type products, I know I said I was gonna give one product, but I'm actually gonna give two, because technically I don't think one of these is a primer. So typically I'll wear the Say Glowy Gel, and I love, love, love it. But recently I've been using the Iconic London Blurring Primer, and I love it so much. So today I'm actually gonna mix a little bit of both on my face. I also love a dropper. Oh, look at my self-tan hands. When am I gonna learn? Probably never. Tonight I am going to get dinner with the girls. Dinner and drinks, casual little thing. Next, I know you guys are probably sick of these, but I just rebought them the other day and I forgot how much I loved them. The Drunk Elephant Bronting Drops, they're really great. Especially for fake tan girlies like me. I don't tan my face. They really do just help like even out my complexion and like match it to my neck and my chest i already just look like so much tanner but i guess that's the point now dolls isn't it next for like my foundation steps the start of like my base um i always like to go in with the charlotte tilbury flawless filter i really just use this as like a really sheer like glowy layer i guess i wasn't gonna play music but honestly i forgot that i used to play music all the time in my videos and it really helps with like my energy so i'm gonna play music foundation i can't help myself the giorgio armani luminous silk is a staple in my routine like i'm using it in some way probably every single time to spot conceal i like to use the Too faced multi sculpting concealer now for brightening concealers the giorgio armani is my literal favorite just look at that where did my under eyes go? Also, anyone tired of men making them feel like, say, I. Sorry, I just had to put that one in there. <laughs> now we need dimension and shape. And that's where contour and bronzer and blush comes in. This isn't news to y'all. I've been using this forever at this point. This is the Hourglass. I believe it's the foundation stick. For blush, I literally just talked about these, but I am gonna go in with the road blushes. This is the shade Toasted Teddy. Like, Come on. I love the consistency. It wears really well. Just all around, really, really love this product. Now, setting sprays. I love the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist Setting Spray. I use this in every single one of my videos, and I just use it multiple steps in my makeup. My other favorite product, a fan. Just kidding. I just love having a hand fan. One is torn to shreds, so. Pressed powder, I love, love, love the Kosa's Cloud Set in the shade Comfy. For loose setting powders, I love the Huda Beauty in the shade Cherry Blossom. It is so good and so brightening. Here's typically where I do anything with my eyes. Um, I will show you guys my favorite eyebrow products, but I feel like eyes is a total different video. But I will tell you guys my favorite two palettes are the two Makeup by Mario palettes that everybody loves. The Ethereal Eyes and the Master Mattes are my go-tos. For me, my favorite brow product of all time is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. It's hard to mess it up, if that makes sense. Like, there is no eyebrow blindness with this product. <laughs> you guys, I cannot talk enough about this powder bronzer. It is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Powder Bronzer. <gasps> Just watch, watch my makeup. That is, ignore this, watch it on my hand. It just sets so beautifully on the skin and it's got a little bit of like shimmer sheen to it so it just like glistens still. I love it so much. For eyeliner, I love the MAC in the shade Costa Riche. Freck XL pen and I just do my freckles like normal. For highlight, the Charlotte Tilbury Beauty and Light Wands are a staple in my makeup every single time. For lips, I already have on the Satchu Lip Stain in the shade Mauve. I'm just gonna fill in with NYX Los Angeles. Oh, and then I have Summer Fridays on top of that. Setting spray, you already know. I love, love, love her. Brings so much moisture back to my face. And that is everything. I hope that answers some of you guys' questions and I'm running out of time.